Ahlan wa sahlan leo nakuja kwenye eneo moja la idara ya Zimamoto. Eneo ambalo lilikuwa kwa tangu wakati wa utawala wa Uingereza wakati wa ukoloni kikijulikana kama African Firefighters. Baadaye likaitwa Fire Brigade na Ambulance Services. Na sasa hivi linajulikana kama Fire Brigade and Rescue Services. Kwa majina naitwa Istanbul wa Sheikh Abdullah Nasir na leo nataka kuangazia kuhusu idara ya Zimamoto ambapo kuna sifa nyingi zinatokeza sasa hivi za idara hii. Watu wengi wanaisifu lakini kwa hatujui ni kwa nini. Nimekuja hapa hususan ili kuweza kujua mbona ghafla idara hii inasifiwa na ilikuwa ikipako matope. Nimekuja kuomba chief fire officer ndugu Ibrahim azungumze na mimi Ibrahim Basafar. Lakini nikasema sitaridhika nitaingia ni uzungumze na senior drivers wa fire brigade watu ambao wako kwa miaka 20 au zaidi wamehudumia kwenye idara hii. Nini mabadiliko yaliyoingia kwenye idara hii na kweli wanastahili sifa wanazopewa kwenye mji na nchi hii kwa jumla? Fuatana na mimi hapa ndani alafu usikize maoni ya wafanyikazi na tuzungumze na mkuu wa idara hii Ibrahim Basafar. Karibuni kwenye kipindi hichi kinachohusu idara ya Zima Moto. Good mornings ama habari ya asubuhi. Asalamu alaikum kwa wale ambao nio bwana asifiwe. Majina ni Ibrahim Basafar ni Chief Fire Officer Mombasa County Government na nimekuja hapa sasa ni miezi mitatu. So nasema ni zile 100 days ndio tuafikisha leo na reason ya kuwa kusema hivi ni na furahi by the time nimeletwa fire nilivyokuipata fire na sasa pale tumefika ni milestone ambayo tumeanza naweza sema step 10 siku zote mtu anaanza na one nilipokuja fire siku ile ambayo nimeingia hapa masikitiko makubwa nikuja pata ofisi ilikuwa ni kama maskani control room ndio mtamzima walikuwa hapo ndo mahali wanakaa wanaangalia video wanaangalia boli hapa ndo mahali watu walikuwa wanakula miraa na amihadarati baada ya kunieleza haya moyo wangu ulipigwa konde nikajiuliza sehemu ya idara ya Zimamoto panatumika kama mahali pakutumilia mihadarati na dawa za kulevya idara ya Zimamoto inatumiwa kama mahali pa watu kuja kujifurahisha na kuangalia video lakini siku sita nikamwambia ndugu Ibrahim aendelee nini hatua alizochukua so ule wogo wa kwanza niliingia nikisema wewe nitasema nitapambana na hiyo mwanzo tumalizane nayo kwa ushirikiano wangu mzuri na vitengo vya usalama wa hapa Mombasa vilinisaidia na tukahakikisha kitu kama hicho mwanzo hapa kime kimetumekea mbali sana leo unaweza sema hapa mahali ezakaa na usisikie kweli harufu ya ya bangi kwa zata ilikuwa siku hiyo nimeingia harufu ya hii station yenyewe ni bangi tu ndo ulikuwa unasikia sana kutoka kwa madometri wale watu ambao wamekaa hapa. Nipoingia siku hiyo nikaita watu wote wale ambao wako hapa kwa ofisi wale wakuu ambao walikuwa wamebakishwa hapa wako tukakaa nao nikaanza kukaa nao kujulia ni nini kilitokezea makosa yako wapi na kuna nini. Na nilikuja na ile ile mentality ya kuwa naenda faya lakini ni mahali ambao Mombasa mzima ama watu wote wa Mombasa wameanza kuikataa ni kitengo ambacho kikiitwa gari hazina mafuta ikienda kwa moto hazina maji ama wakienda basi wakiwa na maji then wale wafanyikazi ambao wako kwenye hiyo gari hawawezi hata ku, kufunga zile hose za kuzima maji nikasema la madamu nimekuja nitapambana nayo 
na baada tu ya wiki moja ukakutokezea moto hapa Baxter kwenye zile nyumba za serikali pale hapo ndo nikaanza sasa ndio moto wangu wa kwanza kuingia kama chief officer nikapambana nao kufika kweli ikaa tumefika kwa madekika yale ambayo kwa sababu sisi pia tuko na performance contract ambayo tunakuwa appraised maana hapa ukiwa mjini kutoka kwa ile gari itoke paka ifike pale mahali tumepewa dakika tano ya response within town na ni kweli tulifika pale within three minutes lakini gari pia ikawa ni hiyo moja na vile ilikuwa nimeingia nime study ya kwa si lazima upambane kuzima moto peke yako kuna watu wengi mashirika mengi ambao pia wao wako na magari ya kuzima moto nikaujuana nao mapema kabla ya kukaa ofisi vizuri kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho you know as well this is a public office si ufanye kazi peke yako so, tukapigiana simu Jeffrey tukapigiana simu KDF tukapigiana simu NYS na waka respond kwenye huo moto na pale nilipotoka ile ofisi nilipotoka ilikuwa tayari nimesha build a good rapport na community kwa sababu nilianzisha ili happy hour uliona wale wahindi ambao wako kwenye ile DMRT team nikawapigia simu nikamwambia kuna hii moto wakaniletea watabozas karibu nani kitengo cha polisi tukapale pale tukazima ile moto kutoka pale ndio ikawa sasa this is now my learning and turning point yangu mimi kujua kwa nini sasa kitu kama hichi kitokezee ya kuwa mimi mwanzo ndio the main fire brigade ya Mombasa Ahebu subiri kidogo hali hii ulivyoikuta na changamoto zake ndugu Ibrahim uliikabili vipi Nikaanza sasa kuchimba na kustadi kujua ni kitu gani kilikwenda kili makosa na kitu gani tutaenda ku, kuendelea kufanya pale Kitu cha kwanza nikaja kuona morali wa wafanyikazi ilikuwa imeenda chini kwa sababu ya kile kichwa kilikuwa wale chief officers wengine pengine walikuwa wametoka before me niingie uh, either walikuwa ha, hawana ile motisha kufanya kazi kwa fire ama si wajuzi wa fire ama tu ni mtu amekaa kwa public office lakini ile interest hana nikaenda nikamtafuta gavana mheshimiwa Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir na akanipatia appointment ya the whole day on Saturday tukakaa mi na yeye akaniambia ye kuna shida gani na niko hapa nataka tufanye which do we make a difference na nashukuru governor yu ni amenipa kipao mbele amenipa a very big hand um, na nini yote nikiitisha nashukuru hakuna mali na shukishwa chini na tunafanya na nimefika pale pale nimefika kwa sababu ya ile political will yake Leo uh, baada ya hizi miezi mitatu ambayo nimekaa hapa hakuna mo, siku hata moja imepigwa simu mahali moto umewaka ya kwa sisi hatukufika in time ama tumefika hatuna maji ama tumefika hatuna mafuta nashukuru Mashallah hiyo ni kusema kwamba mambo mengi yamerekebishwa lakini swala langu ni kwa je kuna mikakati au mipango yoyote ambayo wewe kama mkubwa wa kitengo hichi ya wa idara hii umefanya mikakati ambayo nimefanya nimeingia nikafungua training unit within the fire hiyo ndio kitu ilikuwa hakuna nikapata kosa kubwa la kwanza ni hilo ya kwa watu mtakuta vipi kuzima moto hata nyinyi wenyewe hamfundishani ama hamjuani ama hapia mkenda kuzima moto kuna kitu kinaitwa postmortem ukitoka mkenda kuzima moto mkirudi lazima mukae pale kwa room ambayo inaitwa recreation room watu hukaa mkafanya postmortem ni mambo gani mazuri mlifanya wakati mnazima moto na ni mambo magani ambayo mtaka kurekebishana murekebishane wakati mmetoka kuzima ule moto so hiyo ndio kitu cha kwanza training unit tukaifungua wale vijana hapo wako hapa ikawa kila siku madamu hatuendi kwenye moto tuko hapa hatukai kwenye madomo twafundishana na kila siku mimi nasema kitu kimoja the more you train ama vile kile utakavyo kujikumbusha na ndio vile utakuwa ni mtu specialize in ile kitu ambacho unafanya na utakuwa mjuzi na mkwasi kwa ile kitu unachofanya hapo unasikia unazungumzia kuhusu masuala ya mazoezi na kufundishana yani training unit uliounda hapa kwenye idara hii ya Zimamoto 
nini natija inapatikana kwenye nini natija inapatikana kutokana na training hiyo au mafunzo hayo tukaja hapa tukagawanya maana hata ukiona ile pipe ameshika ule mtu yazima moto si yule aliyoko mbele pale kuna kuna kila mtu kazi kuna watu wanne kwenye ile pipe wanashika na kila mtu ana kazi yake namba 1 namba 2 namba 3 namba 4 ukienda pia pale ule driver kuna mwingine pale kwenye gari wana nyuma kuna pump lazima kuna yule ambao na operate ile pump na wale watu wengine wale wengine ndio sasa watatoka waangalie because kabla ile fuel zimemoto lazima ujue ile moto ni wa nini kuna watu ndani wako ufanye evacuation utoe watu save na nashukuru alhamdulillah moto zote tumezima hatuna incidents ya watu ambao wamepoteza uhai wao kuanzia niingie hakujatokezea tena na ni hii pia pongezi kwa gavana wetu kwa sababu ya ile uwazi na uwezo kunipatia na kunisupport wakati wa kuzima moto na kufanya mambo ya kuzima moto yeye peke yake ndio gavana ambao tayari saa moja na nusu asubuhi ataka kujua kitu gani kilitokezea kwenye moto jana kila siku bila kuchoka na iwafanya kila siku mwenyewe hatumani mtu mwenyewe kujua ambao hiyo tayari unaona ni kitu ambacho amekitilia manani mwenyewe kama gavana ya kuwa hata kuwa gavana wa mji kama huu na iwe kuna mahali mtu ameungua na moto ama amepotezwa na moto kwa sababu our main call here ni saving life and property baada ya mahojiano yangu na mkuu wa kitengo au idara hii ya uzimaji moto kwenye serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa ndugu Ibrahim Basafar nilionelea ni muhimu sana nitafute wafanyikazi wa Kongwe wa idara hii ya kuzima moto ili niweze kupata maoni yao kama haya yasemwayo nje na ndani ya idara ya kuzima moto ni ya kweli au ni uongo na katika kufanya mahojiano yangu ya kwanza mtu wa kwanza kuzungumza na mimi akiwa ni mmoja katika wafanyikazi wa Kongwe ni bwana Gilbert Gona Rimba kwa majina naitwa Gilbert Gona Rimba senior driver wa fire engine na hapa kulikuwa na matatizo matatizo upande wa kufanya kazi matatizo upande wa mapumziko vitanda vilikuwa na kunguni alipoingia huyu chief Abu Safar tukawa sasa akapiga rangi vitanda akatupa magodoro mapya akapatia na bed sheet za kutandika pia upande wa makuu ya chakula kulikuwa tuna shida kwa sababu ya mishahara inachelewa yeye akafanya bidii akawa anatupatia unga kukipika hapa pia upande wa kupika vifaa ukawa hatuna akatunia gas za kupikia na hapa tulipo ni mahali pa kupumzika akapafanya innovation akapiga rangi hata sahi mahali hapa unapendeza kwa hivyo tunaomba koko kama fu wake chief pamoja na ofisazi wote ambao tuko hapa tunaomba kila kitu ambacho kinapitia hapa kupitia chief wetu mumunge mkono ili yale ambayo tunahitaji zaidi mkae naye vizuri na yeye pia mzidi kumpamotisha ili faya iinuke nake faya saa hii ilikuwa haina chochote kabisa lakini kuja kwake tunaona mwangaza sasa mimi ni senior driver Me, nimekuwa hapa tangu 20 uh, 2000 ndio nilingia faya nilikuwa upande wa yadi wakati wa takataka mechanical kule wakati faya ili ilikosekana ma, ma driver ndio nikaletwa faya nimefanya zaidi ya sasa miaka 20 katika faya mabadiliko saa hii ndio tunaanza kuyaona kulingana na ule shifu tumeletewa yeye ni mtu wa watu maana ametutendea ma, makubwa kama sisi masini hatumekaa na ma, machifu zaidi wa nne lakini hatujaona yale mabadiliko walikuwa wanatufanyia huyu wetu saa hii anajaribu kufight hata hao majonia na wale masini wako kazini na wako karibu kulitaya 
anajaribu kuwainua kidogo wapate riziki yao na tunashukuru na tunamuombea na wale wako mbele yake wa support ndio watakuwa na nguvu ya kutufanyia mema zaidi ya hayo kama wanavyosema watu wa kizazi cha leo mbali na sifa kede kede walizomwekea mkuu wa idara yao ndugu Ibrahim Basafar wafanyikazi hao ambao ni wakongwe wengi wakiwa ni madereva walikuwa pia na kilio chao ambacho waliomba wahusika washughulikie kusema ukweli faya watu wanafanya masaa mengi masaa manane zaidi extra tungeomba shifu wetu tumeletewa na ajali ma, mambo ya watu Nashikane na hao wakubwa wako juu yake tuone kama tunaweza kuinuliwa kidogo na hao munda huwa tunaenda extra kwa maana kuna saa nyingine mtu anaenda kazini yeye anatoka saa mbili kazi imezidi anatoka saa sita mchana na yeye alikuwa ni atoke akaangalie family yake mimi kwa majina naitwa Nicholas Changawa Hinzano na kufikia saa hii nina muda kidogo kukaa hapa kama mzima moto nilijiunga na jeshi la wazima moto mwaka wa 97 kwa sasa hivi niko na miaka 29 sasa kipindi kile chote nimekaa hapa hii fire brigade likuwa iko katika imefikia mahali kwa kuwa kuwekwa katika kaburi la sahau kwa sababu ya mambo mengi ambayo tumeyapitia hapa kuna vitu vingi ambavyo hatuna tunalaka mambo mengi kabisa lakini kwa ujio wake a uh, sefo bwana basafa tumeona nuru ikiangaza ndani ya fire brigade na tulitamani mtu kama huyu angepatikana ili kwamba fire brigade iwe mahali pema mahali pa kutamanika mahali pa kufanya kazi mahali ambapo kila mmoja anaweza kukufurahia Kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwa ujio wake kwa maana nuru imekuja na dalili tunaziona kwamba huyu bwana sefo kama laita angepata usaidizi ama wahisani mbalimbali basi faya inaweza kuboreshwa na ikawa mahali pazuri kabisa kwa kufanya kazi Sisi tulikuwa hatu saidiki na chochote japo majiko tuko nayo hayo majiko yalikuwa pia hayafanyi kazi lakini kwa ujio wake ame revive tunakula vizuri tukua kazini na tunapata food stuffs na vitu vile vyote ambavyo vinahitajika kwa ajili aidha kwa breakfast ama lunch tunapata hiyo ni dalili njema ambayo kwa muda mrefu tume, tumekuwa hatuioni so fire brigade na mambo mengi ambayo sisi officers tunakosa hapa tukiingia hapa tunajua masaa ya kuingia lakini masaa ya kutoka hatujui sababu japo shinda hapa na kusitokea uh, incident yoyote inapofikia saa moja na itokee na iwe ni kubwa ambayo itawagarimu kukaa huko mpaka usiku basi hayo masaa yote ambayo yametumika hayo yote ni, ni ya kupotea hayaangaliwi na tunajua kabisa masaa serikali ya ufanyaji kazi ni masaa manane lakini hapa kuna masaa mengi ya ziada ambayo tunapaswa kulipwa. Lau kama tungelipwa hayo mzima moto asingekuwa na mambo mengi, angefurahia kazi yake vizuri. Lakini hayo yote yanapewa sikio la kufa na macho pia wamevaa kuna kuwa na miwani ambayo hawataki kuona. 
lakini na furaha mimi kwanza na furaha kabisa kwa ujio wa sefo wetu na ile bidia alionayo na ninaamini kabisa hata governor pia eh huyu governor ambaye tuko naye kusema ukweli ni ninaamini kwamba ni, ni mzee ambaye ni mtu wa kuelewa si kama yule na naamini akipata mtu na amfahamishe vizuri kuhusu kitengo hiki cha fire brigade yeye ni mtu wa kuelewa na ako tayari kabisa kutusaidia aone kwamba wazima moto wako vizuri na wako katika manufaa mazuri ili pia wao nao waweze kusaidika wawe na kitu cha kuweka katika meza za familia zao Naamini kabisa huyu governor anaweza akaelewa na akasaidiana na sefo wetu na fire brigade ikawa mahali pazuri pa kupendeza kabisa katika utendaji kazi. Salamu alaikum. Jina langu linaitwa Ibrahim Onyach Alhaj. Kwa kweli tangu tupate chief wetu mpya Ibrahim Basafa, ni mwingi amechufanyia. Kwanza maofisas tuangalie tukaniitu tuachoshimika kila pale. Kwa grade amechupatia na pia awezi mzima moto awezi kwenda katika kuzima moto ikiwa ana njaa atamkoa nani lakini Ibrahim Basafa amechuletea watu unga inakuja hapa watu wanakula pesa zake mwenyewe atoa kusaidia sisi na nigeomba pia county msupport kwa sababu mtu kama ni kama chief wa kwanza yuko naye anaitwa Sururu mawe Sururu ni kama tutofanisha kama Basafa kwa sababu Sururu alikuwa kwa yeye angalii angalii kwa ofisa pika kwa juu angalia chini kwanza anaangalia masuala yao ili tukaenda motoni tunakuwa na morali. Kwa hivyo naomba mheshimiwa wetu, gavana wetu na wote wamsupport Ibrahim Basafa. Na sisi tumsupport kwa nyuma kama kama masinia ni maandiko ya 1997. Kwa hivyo naomba tafadhali tumsupport tutuburishe kazi yetu. Naam, baada ya mahojiano na mazungumzo marefu baina yangu mimi na ndugu Ibrahim Basafa pamoja na wafanyikazi ambao ni wakongwe kwenye idara hii ya kuzima moto na huduma za uokoaji nilipata pia fursa kupata mwaliko kwa watu ambao walikuwa wameona kazi njema inayofanywa na idara hii ya kuzima moto na wakataka kuwapa zawadi maalum wazima moto wa idara hii nikaalikwa kwenda kushuhudia mambo hayo kwenye Royal Beach Apartments iliyoko sehemu za mkomani na kwa hakika niliona yalitia moyo sana na kufurahisha macho na moyo miongoni mwa mambo yaliyotokea kwenye Royal Beach Apartments na yanayofurahisha macho na moyo ni kuona wamiliki wa sehemu hiyo wakimshukuru ndugu Ibrahim Abdullah Basafar na kikosi kizima cha wazima moto kwa kazi waliofanya waliweza kumpa ndugu Ibrahim cheti cha shukrani au kipenda kwa lugha ya Kiingereza certificate of appreciation kwa niaba yake binafsi Ibrahim Abdullah Basafar na pia kwa niaba ya kikosi kizima cha wazima moto na kikosi ambacho huwa kimejitayarisha kwa huduma za uokoaji haya ndio yaliyotukia from Mombasa city right 11 kilometers 12 kilometers when there is traffic and we did not expect you to come before half an hour but i see the days are gone those days when the fire brigade used to come and they was suddenly they find there is no water suddenly they find that there is no enough stuff but those days are gone now and i'm very delighted that you came in 7 minutes from less than that so mr ibrahim we thank you very much on behalf of us and all so thank you very much and i heads off to you mr brain heads off to you and the fire brigade all thank you very much thank you thank you the certificate oh the certificate yes <laughs> i must give you the certificate mr brain thank you very much preserve it all the time mr sir thank you lady chari thank you the residents of mombasa uh such kind of incidents when they happen we have those people that we call them first responders the first responders kama vile leo wamekuja hapa the ESS kama 
is one of the apartments that we're saying. We also have somebody from uh, Pride Inn. So, we'll come, uh, this is also from Pride Inn. Pride Inn Mombasa now, they're almost eight. Yeah. You have eight? Yeah. So, they have like eight. And today, we were also doing inspection to them. The message is, uh, we want this kind of cooperation with the fire brigade. And we have a training unit there. And we have certified uh, trainers that have been certified by KTTC, the Kenya Technical Training Certification. Whereby when they give you that certificate, it has, a, it has a lot of weight. Once we have more of community marshals, it makes our work easier. And at the same time, safety starts with me. So when I have a marshal like them, and they have responded so fast, to the extent once the fire brigade reaches here, at least you've done all the preliminaries that are, are stipulated in the laws. You've called everybody out on the assembly point. That is tick. You've checked that no one is, is harm. Stick. You've also gone around to look around if there are fire extinguishers and you know how to use the fire extinguishers. The problem is you, you, you may have those fire extinguishers. Because fire extinguishers are different. We have fire extinguishers which have uh, COT, the carbon, di carbon dioxide, those, those with foam, those with water. But if you don't know, this fire extinguisher is used for this kind of fire, then also you are failing. That's why always I say we should work smart, not working hard. Working hard is to wait for the fire brigade to come and extinguish the fire while it has spread to the extent that you bring a lot of damages but if you can be a first responder a fire marshal so this is a message to Mombasa people owners hotel owners industry owner come forth we have a training unit in Mombasa fire brigade we can train you on how to be a first responder so once we reach we just finish off what you guys have started and it's always good, even with the police, they have what we call the police reservist. You know why we have reservist? Because they're the first responder. So same with fire, you are the first responders. Come forth, we are there, we are ready. We'll train you, cooperate with us, and Mombasa will be a safe haven for everyone. Keep it up, yes. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ni wakati muafaka wako kujilisha kwamba tumefika kilele cha kipindi chetu cha leo. Kuhusu huduma za wazima moto na hali kadhalika mambo wanayofanya ambayo yamewapelekea kupawa pongezi na kupawa chetu cha shukrani kutoka Royal Beach Apartments. Je wewe unaonaje? Maoni yako ni yapi kuhusu kipindi hichi? Unaweza kutufuata kwenye YouTube na uweze kujisajili na uweze kujulishwa kila tunapokuwa tunatoa vipindi vyetu. Tafadhali usikose kupitia yote hayo na pia na kuomba usikose kuona makala yajayo kuhusu utendakazi wa idara ya kuzima moto Mombasa.